Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to perform cross field validation in forms. First, we will see what is cross field validation and why do we need it. And then I will show you a small demo on how to implement the cross validation in our sample Angular application. Okay, so what is cross field validation? A cross field validation is nothing but comparing the values of different fields in a form and then decide whether this combination of values is accepted or rejected. Okay, now uh, let's see a small use case of our sample application which requires a cross validation. So this is our sample application where an admin can create a task, set a due date and assign it to a particular user. Let's go ahead and create a sample uh, task. The title, first task and I will assign it to myself, Harish and I want the due date to be on 18th, 18th of January. Last minute is 9 o'clock and I want this task to be repeated weekly and it should be repeated until next month end which means uh, February 28th. So the idea is the first occurrence of the task will be created with the due date on 18th and it will repeat every Monday until 28th of February. So description is first task weekly and then hitting create. In this page we can see a list of tasks that has been created. As you can see here the first occurrence is on 18th of Jan which is on Monday and then the next one should be 25 25th of Jan and the next one is 1st of February and so on. And it is created, the recurrences, the recurrences has been created uh, for every Monday until 28th. So 22nd is the last Monday before 28th. So that's how the recurring task will be created using a sample application. Now let, let's get to the point. Now the problem lies between the validation between the due date and repeat until date. For example, now the due date is 18th of January, but our form allows us to pick a repeat until date before due date also. For example, 17th. So, I, so the 18th of Jan is due date, but still the form allows me to select a date which is before 18th, which is a big, big blunder. And we want to prevent users from selecting a repeat date before due date, which means the due date should not be greater than repeat until date. And that's where we are going to use our cross field validation. Let's dive into our code and create a custom validator. So our task creation form lies in add task component. And this is our template and this is our corresponding component class. Our form has been implemented using reactive approach. Therefore, the validators will be directly assigned in the component class, for example, here we are initializing a form group and then a form control and we have assigned a validators directly here. In our case, we want the cross field validator to be assigned to the complete form group. Therefore, our new validator is going to be placed here. Let's go ahead and create a new validator. Let the name of validator be a date validator dot directive dot ds export const date validator this date validator is going to implement the interface called validator function Oops. validator function and control as an argument sorry I'm so equals and validation errors and null that's our lambda function so 
So we are creating a date validator which implements an interface called validator function and it takes the angular control as an argument and returns the validation errors or null. Now let's get our controls. First control is going to be due date. Control.get and the name should be same as the form control name that we have assigned here for due date. So the form control name of due date field is due date. So let's enter the due date here and then comes recurrence recurrence type. Get. Let's see what what is the form control name of recurrence type field. So that's recurrence type. Let's place recurrence type here and then the last field is repeat until. Get. Repeat until. So now uh, let's create our condition here. First, we have to check whether the controls exist. So due date, recurrence type, repeat until. And now we have to check whether the reference type, the chosen reference type is not none. So reference type of value should not be none. And our due date. And now here we are going to check whether the due date value is greater than or equal to repeat until. If this condition is true, then we are going to return a validation error saying due date greater than equal to repeat until date is true. Else, we are going to say there are no errors written now. That's it. Now uh, we have created our date validator and let's see how to use this date validator in our component class and how to show an error in our template. So here in our component class a validator should be included here. So name of the validator is state validator. This is our create form initialization. Let's add the same validator in our edit form also which is here so now that we have a validator in our component class let's include our error message under our due date and repeat until field that's our due date field and here I'm going to include an mat error tag with a structural directive ngf saying show the error only if the task form has an error called due date greater than equal to repeat until so when this error occurs then the following message will be displayed Due date is uh, should not be greater than or oops, greater than or equal to repeat until date. Let's use the same mat error tag in our repeat until field also.
this is our repeat until field and so I'm going to paste our mat error here that's it so we have created a new validator and then we have included this validator in the component class because we have used a react approach and then we have included our error message here let's see how it works so our application is reloaded let's try to enter the fields first task assigning it to myself and the due date let it be 18th Monday I would like to repeat it daily until so I have chosen the due date as 18th let's see what happens if I pick a repeat until date before 18th let's say I'm going I'm going to repeat until 16th which doesn't make any sense but I'm expecting an error message here under both the fields so I'm picking 16 oh it works finally we got the error message saying due date should not be greater than or equal to repeat until date also the create button is disabled that's how we could perform a cross field validation using our custom validators and prevent the users from choosing a date before the due date thank you very much for watching uh, see you guys on my next video